Hey guys, welcome back to ESL TV for the Black Monster Cup. We're underway here with our third game in the first set of games here between, I realize the audio is a little bit too low, between Luvenshore and Dragon Team right now. Obviously we are tied 1-1 one one the series where this will advance on to go to the semifinals. Obviously both teams are really fighting for that one here. And oh, Let's go to the last for you guys at home who are a little bit, or maybe a little bit unfamiliar with both these teams. We have Jockeys, Kikis, Take Funarino, Mackler, and Libic. On the side of Dragon Team, we have Power of Dream, Miran, Legat, Vincent Vega, and Archie. And all right, now you can see Miran already using that Evelyn to his advantage, trying to go for a little bit of invade on this blue buff, it seems. And both top winners will be running the teleport soon. If you guys don't remember, this is on the tournament realm. This is on 4.6. This is not on the latest patch. There is no Braum. There is none of that stuff. And, uh, well, right now Trundle will be caught out there a little bit here by that, uh, Cleaver out of jockeys. And we do see, obviously, the AD carry and support for Dragon Team. Out towards this top side here, it looks like they do want to commit for this push onto that blue buff. And well, they don't have any wards on them other than their trinkets to uh, put down. And obviously, could just be warding things up. They could be maybe trying to confuse them a little bit since they have a ward on their own blue buff. Maybe trying to catch out the other team to try to go for a uh, little bit of a counter. But let's see. They're still sticking around. Window, though, won't be able to spot them out if they do go by. And that's the thing. I'm curious why Mirror End isn't pushed up because he won't be spotted by a ward. He can only be spotted if he does get hit by that cleaver. And yet he's still chilling back. There you go. They're starting to finally go for the push in here. The same thing's happening over towards the other side, though. And cleaver will hit Power Dream. So we will have blue buffs traded here for both teams. Window still hammering away with those cleavers, and Archie's back right now. And on Power Dream, he will be forced to go back towards that bottom side of the map here very shortly. As we're even going to steal away a wolf camp here. Now the question is, will Mirror End go for a four-man push on the top side with Trundle, or will he go back to the red buff? And you can see, even see Archie going back to ward up their own red just to make sure no one is stealing it away. Looks like they do want to go for the push here, but they got to wait for the top way to shove. You can see Mundo went back to base and will be shoving out on bottom as well. So we will have a turret trade like we saw, obviously, in the uh, first series. Or sorry, the first game. And taking a look at terms of wave clear between both these teams. And right now, you have a Lucy and a Morgana. And I think Mundo can count if he has a W. He obviously has a Cleaver. Then you have a Zyra a Jinx. So pretty similar clear speeds. I would, I would give it over to... Yeah. Dragon Team because of, of uh, Evelyn having the Q spam. And that will be the first turn of the game going down for Dragon Team here. Maybe looking for number two. They will continue to shove in. Thing is, it's a three-man push in the bottom lane out of uh, Lubin Shore here. Not actually using Kha'Zix down there. But the turret still will be traded either way. And, well, they're very far behind here. As right now, Dragon Team already pushed up onto the next turret. Talport coming in on Mundo. They don't want to let this turret get taken down. But will they have what it takes to hold on to this one? And right now you're seeing... The damage coming out of Kiki's. Flash comes into power. He's looking for the kill here, and they do pick it up. He picks up blue buff. And now Jockey's forced away. They're going to continue to shove onto this turret here. I want to imagine they should be able to pick this one up as well. So they're going to pick up the two turrets. They're going to pick up the first blood. And will they pick up any more? Because right now, power can go back to base, teleport to that top end if he needs to. He can even buy before that and stop them from going to push. And right now, we'll see Zyra go back to base. And we'll see Jinx as well. And Trundle, well, it looks like he will stick around here for the moment here on this top side. Maybe looking for another fight. And well, right now he's just scaring them away, holding them back. Let's see, what's his turret HP at? Not even half right now. So Dragon Team will hold on to the turret advantage. And they will hold on to that huge gold advantage they've been able to build up. 1,200, yeah, it's not a lot. But that is a good start. Now uh, you can see Legat able to do some pretty good damage to take Funarino. Seems like he's having a little bit of a better time here than he did Lulu versus Kassadin. He's really struggling in that one. Then again, Kiki's didn't make his uh, job any easier with the constant ganks coming in. And now Mira can go back to his uh, red buff. We'll pick that up as well as Kiki's doing the same. So both junglers will have that now to roam around and gank with here in just a few if they do decide to. And right now you can see Zyra and Jinx taking the white camp. So they're actually not sticking around to top. Maybe they'll go for Dragon after this. And there's always a possibility right now. Evelyn does come down there, but either way, we will have Archie ward that up. Actually try to go some 
1v1 action versus a little bit All right now they will go ahead and start the dragon. Helen will be coming in from the side there. Won't actually clear out the vision though. This could be a very dangerous Evelyn. Well, we'll be coming in. You see Trundle taking a lot of damage, though. You remember, that dragon does die. Trundle will be healed up quite a bit. And here comes now Libic off the side. Dark Bunny lands on an Archie. He won't be tanking the dragon, though. Now they got has come in as well. So we have a five on four here. Mundo does not have teleport up. And you can see Dragon Team not going to go for it. They're just going to back away and uh, not try to commit to anything else. But we got still... Wow. Still sticking around. As see power almost getting taken down. My like Galinor Lance right there. So much gold is he to spend? Eh, not a lot, because they already bought up. And we're back down towards the bomb side. But we'll teleport to the top lane. We'll be on all that farm. And we'll be going to more of a uh, standardized game here now at six minutes in. Taking a look at CS here between both these uh, teams. Not, not a big difference. Except the AD carries, though. Mackler, 42 to 25. Uh, that's a big lead for him. But obviously, he had a big way shoved into him that, unfortunately, Vincent didn't have. Remember, they were taken in the white camp. And then tried to transition to Dragon. And in the meantime, Mundo was shoving top, which Trundle ended up getting the farm for. And then, not to mention, Trundle got the farm bottom because he shoved the lane in. So, all that farm being taken away from Jinx. And that's, that's a little bit dangerous here. And... I see. We'll see how things does change around here in just a few. But and I can see that being zoned away from the entire minion wave, and they have to back off. Remember, they don't have a tower there to really, you know, kind of uh, use as a safety net. And it's being reflective by their lack of ability to even farm up right now. Either way, Evelyn coming down from a uh, dragon. And ping spawned him out, so maybe he was spotted by ward. Maybe he was actually out of his stealth. But he will swing around towards uh, that white cap. We'll pick that up. One thing I want to watch, though, is Legat actually middle. He's level 6. Got the camera, please. He's level 6. He has a Brutalizer. He's up against the Seeker's Arm Guard, though. Let's see how much armor Lulu has. 82, so a good amount. Obviously, it's very hard to kill Lulu since she has the ultimate on top of that. Well, we'll definitely be seeing him try and... Oh, I'm trying, trying to push top side. Got to be careful with Kiki's here, though. And he's level 6. He probably could actually turn this around, though. He will be kited very well against that Mundo. Both mid laners still really even here. I mean, this has kind of been the matchup between these two, is that, you know, when on the Blanc, Legat... Oh, he destroyed the lane. He destroyed Zed. But then Legat lost against Take Fun Arena when uh, he had Kassadin. And he was using Lulu, and right now Evelyn will be coming on the bomb side. Level 5 here, looking for something onto Libic. Will the grass moves land? Oh, well, they will get the slow off. And not to get the kill in just yet, and now Archie getting turned on as you see the summoner heal being used. And again, going to be unsuccessful, but look how far Trundle is pushed up here. He's all the way onto this inhibitor turret. He just doesn't really care, and he doesn't see Kha'Zix. doesn't have any wards down, but the Dark Binding coming in, landing on Amir. He is now level 6. Will he go for the flash ultimate? Well, he just back away, and it looks like they will back off here, not really knowing where Kha'Zix is, but they will have a word to spot him out here in just a few seconds. And they do know where he is now. Looks like they won't commit to this one here. Trundle just going to head back as well. And it looks like they actually might go in onto Lulu here. I don't know what they're looking at the bottom. Well, that's because Libic picking up an easy kill on Archie. Teleport coming in on the mid lane for Mundo. Now the power being a little bit too aggressive here, pushed a little bit too far, getting jumped on by Kiki's. I don't think he's going to be able to skate this one with Jockey's coming at the speed and the Cleavers. And power, well, he'll be dropped by Kiki's. Picks that one up. Now 2-1 to one in favor of them. And they're looking for more here. Now Legat getting caught out. He doesn't have a summoner to get away from this one. And he will be taken out by the Cleaver. Jock is picking up another one for himself. Now 1-0. and zero. And now that is a huge lead. Not really in gold reflected for uh, Lublin Shores. But they're not rotating them. And they are having that bottom. Well, they have every lane shoved up against them. Except middle, obviously. The top and bottom. Very important for them to get a lot of free farm in. And it's going to be very dangerous for the side of Dragon. They can't really afford to lose out on many more fights. They are behind 100 gold, but remember, they're only down a turret in here. And look at Power teleporting behind them. Trying to catch out Kiki's here. They have Elm off to the side, who has ultimate, but will they have the slows they need? Kiki's will run away in that trophy, and looks like he will be able to escape this. So that teleport not being really used for anything. Now, they might be able to get Dragon off this. They're going to have to have Trundle tank this one up. Lulu is back at base. They can see Mundo top. 
And there should be a free dragon for them, unless Kha'Zix can jump over that wall and steal it away here. But Power getting caught by Morgana. Libic doing some pretty good damage to him, as you can see. Power will be healed up by the dragon, though, if it does get taken out here. Mac coming from the side with the Cohen, and you see Zed finally coming in. No ultimate up just yet. Dragon almost down here, and it will be actually picked up by Kha'Zix with the smite. He steals that away. And that is now unfortunate for Dragon Fallen even further, a thousand gold behind. With all of that, in the meantime, Jock is able to push the top lane, able to get that turret probably down here on this wave. And that is a big mistake. And you can see between the 80 carries, this is... It's getting out of hand. As you can see, 93 to 47 CS. He has a lot of gold to spend. 2300 to the 1600 on Vincent. Yeah, he's going to have a BF sword, but Macro's going to have a Bloodthirster now done. And not to mention more than that. And Right now, you got to give credit to Lubin Shores. They did not show up in game number one, but somehow they're really starting to really come together here. And considering they're using a uh, substitute for Kuba on the top lane, Jockeys, since he's uh, apparently in the hospital, which I'm hearing from chat. They're looking pretty pretty solid here. And obviously we have another game coming up after this, guys. It's going to be Oh My Gosh versus Gamers 2. That is Ocelot's team. Should be some uh, more great action between those two teams. I'm expecting some pretty close games. And we'll be following, uh, I believe, right after we finish off on this one. And we'll have our second team. Also, tomorrow we have some more uh, Black Monster Cup action with the other two quarter uh, quarterfinals. Quarterfinal 3 and 4. We have Rocks.Kiss, Unicorns of Love, Invaders, and SK Gaming Prime all playing. And Dark Bunny will, will land on to Jinx there. Mackler being cut out, doesn't have a little bit off to the side. Mackler dashing into them instead of away. Maybe there's a little bit of a misclick there. All right, now Power getting ganked on the top side here. So he's the ultimate onto Jockeys, most likely. Get that extra armor him. Uh, it just doesn't matter too much here. He's trying to fight in his, in his mini wave, so Kiki doesn't get the extra proc off his Q, but it doesn't matter. Jockeys picks that one up here. Now Archie, well, he will die. <laughs> no other doubt about that. He will get finished off by Libic. Now he's being forced to run away from Evelyn. Does exhaust him up. Does get hit with the ultimate, though. He'll have Dark Bounty back up here in just a few seconds, and he will hit it onto Mira, and he will be able to escape that one. And now the guy, I'm not sure if he's going to be able to be as lucky here as he's taking a lot of damage. He's already behind about 20 CS and he's falling further. And he's getting completely controlled by Lublin Shore. You see the gut. I'm not sure he's going to escape this one. Mundo Flash Cleaver. And he's going to get taken down. Take Fenerino gets that one. 6 to 2 now. And Lublin Shore is just pretty much outplaying them. I almost want to say out-rotating them right now, but they're always one step ahead, catching them off guard here in Dragon. They just don't seem to have the read. I mean, they don't have any aggressive wards down. They have some defensive, yes, but the defensive ones were only put just recently after they already, you know, lost a couple of lives that they had. And right now, they really have to catch up here and take Funarino. Oh, get some damage onto this turret. Take it down about half HP. Maybe a little bit lower. But as you can see, Mundo has the uh, Sunfire Cape, has the uh, Warden's Melt done as well. Which armor is he sitting on? 166, and he's up against a double AD comp. So, well, triple AD comp, I guess you can say. No, no ability power damage on their team. Obviously, Trono does eat away at his armor with his uh, ultimate, but still, that is going to be very hard to really deal with, especially for uh, Vincent, who doesn't have any armor pen right now since he's being so hurt in lane. Vincent, luckily, though, he was able to catch up in some CS. As you can see, he's only down about 50. A little bit, well, getting caught out here. Looking for the fight. We'll get knocked up by this one. And when the Super Mega Death Rider comes in, as well as Mirror, and they pick up one, they're going to pick up a second one. Mackler will be going down here, but here comes Catch for the side, looking for the reset. He won't get it. He will back away from this one. And that will be two quick kills coming in for Dragon Team, trying to even things up here. And 6-4 to four now. I think have a lot of work ahead of them if they have hopes of really doing that. Dragging up in about a minute 40. That's going to be the objective they're looking for next. They even pushed down a bottom turret here in the meantime, and oh my god, 0 and 2. He just doesn't really have the damage he needs to take down Fonarino here, and he will try, but here comes Kikis off the side, goes at the jump, and will force the flash out of him over the wall. And a Fed Zed is devastating, but a, a malnutrition Zed, a skinny Zed, is just, it doesn't do much of anything. 
A starving said. I should just not even say anything. He, he's not having the best of games here. One of the Rune King, not even close to done as he has that build Jordan Cutlass now done. And you can see take Fenerino. Zone is Hourglass, first item built. Not even going for that Chalice, not even going for that Fiends and Holy Grail for the CDR and that mana regen and lane. I wonder if he's going to go for it now with the Phoenix Codex or go for a DFG. See a lot of pings coming out on the side of uh, Lubin Shore, trying to spot them out. I believe Mozara uh, will be spotted, but in the end, they make not going to hit that dark body. And right now, they're trying to keep that pink ward alive. Looks like they will go for that push on this middle turret here, and not really much giant team can do about it. You have Channel top lane. It looks like he's freezing the lane. No, he's not freezing anymore. No, he's trying to freeze it actually a little bit. Oh my god, make up your mind. Okay, so he's not freezing it. Right now, the Miltert has been taken down, is now 3-2 to two in favor of Luvin Shores. And right now, with that pink ward there, currently they're looking for... They're looking for a gank. And they might be able to pull it off. They know where Jinx is. And either way, Dragon has come back up, and we have a Mundo and a Kha'Zix there. It's not going to be up for long, and they will pick that up here, and they will secure themselves the second Dragon. Remember, Kiki stole away the first one from Dragon as they uh, were doing it. And that gold lead almost hitting about 3,000 here, 17 minutes in. And you can see Kha'Zix, oh, building up towards, eh, it could be Merktress, could be a Hex Jinker. I think it's though. And the B of Sword, or the both are sorry, done for Mackler. So on about 1,000 gold to spend after that. I'm curious to see if he's going to go into a Triforce now. I'm going for a Last Whisper. I mean, there's no armor in the team, so I'm assuming Triforce would be okay. But you can see Mirren sneaking in on the bottom lane. Looking for an engage here, looking for a fight. Grass Spirit's not going to connect. He's just trying to bait them out, but look at this. Kha'Zix coming down as well as Lulu. They're going to capture him off guard. This is going to be a four on three fight. And I don't know that Evelyn is there, but they can spot Lulu and Kha'Zix both coming in. And Livic trying to chase him down with those boots mobility. He is so damn fast. Vincent will get locked down by the Dark Binding, and that will be a dead jinx. Even I'm not sure why, but Zyra comes back in. The flash from Kiki's does dodge away from the Zyra ultimate. And then there's a knockup from Take Fun. Mirren will be killed as well. That is a double kill for Kha'Zix. Maybe looking for a third here. Zarchi will get taken down. Mackler picks someone up. And now it's nine to four, 17 and a half minutes in. Three easy kills coming in by the quick rotate. And they're going to push onto this turret. They're looking for the 4-2 lead here. And right now you see Zed returning back to mid lane, trying to shove the lane in there. But losing your first middle turret for a tier 2 bottom turret is not worth it at all. And well, they can't continue to push against this. But either way, they will be able to secure that one here. And I don't believe Zed has the damage he needs to take this down, especially with Mundo coming in from the side. And he actually might be taken down by Mundo in a 1v1 here as he's going straight after him, trying to cut the mini wave. And they got, well, he'll just be able to back away, and there's a blue buff up for him to take. But will he actually check it here? That's the real question. Oh, we'll catch all they got. I'm sure cut was being used here, and... Oh, he's chasing him down. He does get over the wall, but Jockeys doesn't care. Flashes, and the guy, he won't escape this one. He will be taken down. Jockeys picks it up in 1v1. Picking up a killing spree. Threes are in one, even laughing at the end just to rub it in. And it's now 10 to 4 here, and go lead is getting further and further in the lead. Zed finally having that Blade of the Rune King done. But it's just a little bit too late. He didn't get fed in lane. He's 0 and 3 right now. The thing is, everyone on the team has a kill except him, but. They have a 1 and 2 Trundle, a 1 and 3 uh, Zyra. Take Fun Arena now getting ganked in middle. He will be dro dropped here. He gets a flash and the ultimate. He does escape from this one. And now they might be able to turn this one out on the power here. But ultimate Adam Argana going to lock him down here. But they're going to back off instead. Colin comes out on the Vincent. Look at the damage it's doing. And they might be able to chase him with the Frost Coons clean. But here comes Miran with the ultimate. Will they actually use it? He doesn't even have it up. Never mind. As they do pick up a 1 for 1 trade here. Vincent trying to chase him down. But instead, he won't pick up anything. He'll get actually killed. And that is now Kiki's jumping in onto Mirrend. He won't escape. He will be taken down. And that is now a 4-4-1 four, four, here. As it might be an ace. And there it is. Zyra pass. I'm not going to be enough to kick up anyone. And a 1 for ace. Or 1 for 5 coming out for Lubin Shores. 15-5, to five, now 20 minutes in. And they're going to be able to push onto this turret. And assuming they're going to back away from... Sorry, back away from this now. Considering they don't have the time to pick anything else up. 2,500 gold for Mundo, 1,400 for Lulu, and 1,400 for Lucian here. And well, Morello's Nomicon was picked up by Take Fun. 
It's getting really out of hand right now. And if another fight like that breaks out, even even without it, they're still uh, about 8,000 gold ahead. It's going to be really hard for Dragon to come back from this. They need the wards. They need to spot and catch out Lubin Shore invading. And well, right now, you can see two Supin lenses picked up for him. Not even a pink ward or two in there, but they're going to need more than that to really hold on to this one. You can see the difference between the 280 carries. I mean, it's a sheen advantage for Mackler, but eh, he's only sitting on 300 gold, so he actually won't be able to pick up that Triforce here just yet. But with the farm bottom, I'm assuming he'll be able to after that, with that wave and the next one that's coming. You see, Mundo has the Renowin's Omen done. Has a ridiculous amount of armor, 227. And Trundle, who you know, has built some magic resist now, but doesn't have any armor to defend against Mackler. Kiki's, so I say, getting caught out here, but blowing the ultimate out of Archie. We'll be able to jump out of that one. And there's a major ultimate down, especially for the lockdown they need on this team, but they're pushing over the top turret. They're looking for here. Kiki's able to clear out these wards. Lubick as well, with the help of that sweeping lens, or the, sorry, the Oracle lens. And right now, Trundle all by himself here. He's got to be careful. He gets jumped on by Kiki's. He will get knocked up as well. He does not have Flash, but he also played the Rune King, looking to escape this one. But Jockeys actually might get taken out. He pops his ultimate. He's tanking out the turret for such a long time, but there's the shutdown. That's exactly what Dragon needed to do here, but will that be enough? As right now, Mako trying to turn this around. Does dodge out on the queue from Jinx. The calling coming in. Going to be able to kill one person. Gets it onto Zyra. Now, Kiki's jumping in the backside. He actually won't pick up anyone else. And take Fun Arena will be able to shield up most of the damage from that turret, but you can see how low that Zed is. You can see how low that Miri is as well. And even with losing one man, they still pick up the turret here. And take Fun will be able to stop that from backing out as well. Alright, so another turret. Gold lead almost at 10,000 here. And then we'll have Dragon up in about 20 seconds as well. It was it was Meet Your Makers, Lubenshore, Mouse, Lubenshore. Is the uh, transition they did for team names? And where are they going? You can see right now Kiki's and are heading down towards that bottom side. Maybe trying to go for that dragon when it does come up. But as you also can see, Triforce now done. Sheen even picked up for Take Fun Arena, going into that Lich Bane. And Dragon is free for taking that. You know, Dragon team aren't even there to, to stop it. Aren't even there. I don't think they know it's up right now. And you can see with the pink wards coming down, they're trying to clear up that vision. They realize, you know what, we got a kill there. That's exactly what we needed, but then they kind of got caught out. Actually got taken down. And they did lose on that turret, but it's a start. And there's Dragon, that will be that 10k lead that we were looking for. And it's going to be ridiculously hard to come back from this. We're only 23 minutes in. Keep that in mind. And you can see Vincent does have that fan are now done. But he doesn't have a last wish. But that he needs to eat through Mundo. To eat through, you know, Kiki's here in a few. Even maybe to, uh, take fun Arena. Yeah, the Trun Ultimate helps. I don't know if it helps that much here. And Kiki's catch up Miran. He will be able to lock down the blue buff for Mackler. And they have them scared out of their own jungle. So what are Dragon going to do? I'm assuming Baron Dance is, is appropriate right now. They have an easy way of doing it with Kha'Zix and Mundo. Oh, they just could go for some red steals or maybe some fights in the jungle yet again. Ma oh, Mangler, you got to be careful. He's off to the side. He'll actually engage on a power here. He, I think he did still wear the red buff. No, he didn't. Vincent actually locked that one down, but he does force him to use a lot of cooldowns here. They might get trapped out now because here comes Kha'Zix from the side. They're trying to pinch them in. Kha'Zix is going to leap into this one, and he will go straight in 1v5 here. The ultimate comes out of Zyra. It gets completely wasted. The Mitsumi Mega Dothrak even comes in. Doesn't connect with anything here. And Kiki's will just back off with that Zed ult on top of him. But either way, they force them back here. You can see the blinking lights on the Archie and Kiki's. A very ballsy play coming in for Kiki's. They're jumping in 1v5, but either way, it looks like they're trying to go for Baron off of this. And there is, I was to say, no wards down on the side of Dragon Team inside the pit. Morgana and Lulu both just holding them off here. They have to be careful though, because the red buff is up on Jinx, trying to slow them down. Looks like Libic will be able to escape here. You can see the ward will finally come over the walls. Now Vincent gonna get jumped on right here. He's still alive. And Wolf Cassidy's flash away. He gets the reset. The gun never pick up the kill as a double kill comes up for Macklin. Maybe even a triple right there. Maybe looking for the quadra as we do see the flash and the runs popped by Jockeys here. And Mackler is still being able to survive from this. And I believe 
Vincent Vega disconnecting. Yep, all of them leaving from this one. It looks like they will surrender. I'm assuming losing two men. Well, assuming losing all of them. Even the GG's being called out there. And it looks like Lubin Shore. Just waiting for this runner to come in. Have secured themselves a spot into the semifinals here. Now, first inhibitor, it will fall here in just a few seconds. The first inhibitor will drop as well. And Jinx and Tronda both still decede. But the surrender vote hasn't come in. Hmm. Not sure if they decede or left. You can just see the guy just sitting there. I don't know what's going on here. I think they're just dragging the game out for no reason. Either way, I think even I think even you guys at home realize that this one is over. Surrender vote failed. You know, as it does. When you're trying to give up. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. They're just sitting in base. Like they I think they, they tried to surrender and then they failed it. Alright, looks like they're just gonna push on the middle here. Pretty sure Dragon Team conceded this one away. I think four of their men are DC'd now. And Archie's the last man standing. And the teleport coming in from Jockeys looking to finish one off. And they will be able to take down these next turrets here. I'm just, I'm just like, I'm trying to get hyped up for this, but they kind of just... It's kind of like anticlimactic at the end where everyone just DC'd and there's no surrender. <laughs> Either way, the first next turret falls. Second one gonna fall shortly thereafter. And that will be Luma Shores coming back from a 1-0 deficit. Actually, qualify themselves into the semifinals, get one step closer into the grand finals here. As well, that will be a dead Zed here. But congratulations to them. Very well played. And a very good comeback as well, considering what happened in that first game after being stomped out. But that means that will be the end of our first quarter final. But we've got a second one coming your way here in just a few. It's going to be Oh My Gosh versus Gamers 2. And that is going to be a good one as well. And obviously, if you guys are a little bit curious, we're doing the raffle, like I mentioned before. I always link you guys in chat what it is. But we're giving away some hats, some shirts, and I believe some hard drives. Just head over to that link I put in chat over on Facebook. Make sure to check that out. And obviously read the rules on how to be entered for that one. But guys, we're going to go to a break here. When we come back, we will have the second quarter final underway. It's all slots' team up against Oh My Gosh. And we're going to find out who is the second team getting through into the semifinals.